Ladies and gentlemen, I want to read you a very interesting article in Fortune. Did a concerted attack cost Terra's UST to crash below $1? An exec behind the largest stable coin and experts agree it's suspicious. Fortune magazine. Now, this is right after Terra went to zero and the stable coin was completely obliterated. This can easily happen to Tether. If you ask why, well, here, USDT addresses with over $1 million hold 80% of Tether supply. But getting back to the Fortune article, so you have a whole lot of very powerful positions. They say that it's decentralized and uh, it's not um, susceptible to the types of, of market manipulation that the stock market is actually the op the reverse is true the opposite is true it's actually more crypto and bitcoin and tether and coinbase they're more susceptible to manipulative shady uh criminal behavior but here coin telegraph 55 percent of the world's top 100 banks reportedly have crypto or blockchain exposure we can go on forever bitcoin's one percent controls lion's share of cryptocurrency's wealth new research shows that just 0.01% of Bitcoin holders control 27% of the currency in circulation. If there's a short squeeze, if there's a panic in the market, which there's only negative sentiment now, you will see very quickly Bitcoin continue to fall to 10,000 or lower. Hit subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very important segment. I want to read you this Fortune article. So the Fortune article, again, did a concerted attack cause Terra's UST crash to uh, below zero to below one terra the largest algorithmic stable coin and there's really no difference between an algorithmic stable coin and a stable coin allegedly backed by cash reserves because the cash reserves are not enough uh, or they don't have enough cash reserves and nobody has seen their cash reserves they've never had uh an irs or, or audit uh, a major audit where they can prove that they have all this money but they don't have 70 or 80 billion dollars in cash reserves. So that's one reason Tether is going to go under and take the entire crypto world with it. Coinbase uh, and Bitcoin will Coinbase as well and Bitcoin will crash to 10,000 or lower. Hit subscribe to this channel and that'll cause that'll expedite the collapse within the stock market. But here, Terra USD, the largest, largest algorithmic stable coin, completely unraveled this week, sending ripples through the crypto markets. UST plummeted far below its $1 peg, adding downward pressure to Bitcoin and overall cryptocurrency market as it crashed. Its sister token, Luna, also collapsed to nearly zero. This wiped out many cryptocurrency investors' life savings. Reddit forums dedicated to the Terra ecosystem are riddled with sad posts and a series of links to helplines like the National, oh my God, National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Many first-time investors were left confused as to what happened, and there are a few theories. Among them is that there was a, quote, concerted attack on the Terra ecosystem in which the claimed attacker made off with over $800 million. It is, it is being lightly likened to legendary hedge fund manager, uh, successful bet against British Pound in the early 1990s. Okay, so the chief technology officer behind Tether, the world's largest stablecoin, said during a twi uh, Twitter Spaces on Thursday that while it's in the realm of, of uh, conspiratorial theory for now, he thinks there was likely an attack on Terra. Quote, if you have a weakness, you can always expect someone that is bigger than you to use that weakness. And we have seen that with Terra, he said. Well, if that's true, Coinbase, XRP, Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, they all have major weaknesses especially weaknesses linked to being susceptible to market manipulation and to downturns in the market, which is what take, what's taking place. Nonetheless, there are many assumptions being made about this that are tough to verify. Uh, and it would be wise, uh, it wouldn't be wise to, what, to rush to conclusions ahead of research of in, into the block told fortune. But, quote, it is certainly suspicious due to it happening at a very specific time where Luna was most vulnerable, he said. So, why does the crypto community increasingly think Terra was attacked? Here's the issue with this, whether it's a conspiratorial theory or suspicion. Trump, for example, was investigated based on what would now be utilizing the logic of downplaying any 
uh, belief that Terra was attacked by hedge funds or any other suspicious activity in politics, hunters' emails, pay-to-play schemes with uh, the foundation, Clinton's foundation, any of these, you know, suspicion is leveled um, very easily towards Trump. For example, he worked with Russia. We just had to find out with a Mueller probe that cost over $30 million. We had to find out. Why? Well, because uh, James Clapper and John Brennan said there could have been, uh, there could have been uh, proof. We, we, he didn't have any direct evidence, but there was a special counsel trying to find out if indeed he had colluded, and then eventually they found out it didn't happen. So they accused first. They legitimized and justified their conspiratorial theories pertaining to Trump being installed by the Kremlin, then, 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 then investigated and found nothing. And I just, it's interesting because a lot of people are like, well, you don't know if hedge funds were behind this. You don't know. Yeah, you don't. I don't know the specific hedge fund, but it's very likely that there was a concerted effort by, if you want to say, quote unquote, whales or hedge funds or people with uh, trem- like, you know, mammoth, monumental, concentrated positions in Tether or crypto to either because they shorted it or whatever, you know, however they did it, there was an effort to take Terra down. The same effort could be utilized against Tether, Coinbase, everything else in crypto. Because Coinbase is losing $430 million last quarter, uh, $1.2 billion in insider trades, they're confiscating accounts at times. They have class action lawsuits pertaining to hacks and confiscated accounts. And there's a whole other, a lot of other problems with Coinbase. It's tied to trading and 90 plus percent of its revenue comes from trading fees. When everyone is selling because uh, there's a run on Tether or Bitcoin gets to 10,000 or lower, Coinbase will cease to exist, unfortunately. There's, or they're freezing high, there, there's a hiring freeze now already. And I don't say this with glee or malice. I'm just saying that you're reading what's taking place. Nobody knows exactly what took place. But here, Terra's collapse on Saturday. Uh, Terra's UST stablecoin lost its peg to the US dollar. The DPEG seemed to, to be prompted by a massive, with, massive withdrawals from Anchor, a Terra-based decentralized finance protocol that offers high yield to those who deposit UST. Over the weekend, UST deposits in Anchor fell from $14 billion to $11.2 billion. UST being so reliant on Anchor has been a source of criticism in the crypto community since Anchor's yields may well be inflated by huge backers. Okay, 12%, according to CNBC, of the decentralized finance industry, which is about $106 billion. So, sorry, $12 billion, sorry. Around around ten billion, so twelve billion, ten uh, percent, so twelve billion, according to CNBC, of the DeFi market, which is about one hundred and six billion dollars, is just criminality, theft, corruption, people losing their money with scams, people claiming that you know, gosh, you know, this DeFi endeavor lost money because of a hack, when in reality they're pretending to get hacked. All of these very bizarre occurrences, but here. As the UST stablecoin dropped, it brought its sister token, Luna, down with it. The Luna Foundation Guard, an organization that supports the Terra ecosystem, announced that it would issue $1.5 billion in loans denominated in Bitcoin and UST after the stablecoin lost its peg to the US dollar to try to save it, but it didn't work. The notion of having a cryptocurrency pegged to the dollar is absurd. The whole point of crypto is to get away from the dollar. So... You have a cryptocurrency that is that exists because of its peg or reliance on fiat. But there's not even a true foundation for it because there, you would need to have the equivalent amount of cash reserves. But that doesn't that's not that doesn't happen. There isn't 80 billion or so or 70 plus billion of dollars in cash. The cash equivalents are meaningless when there's a run on Tether. They're, they basically, it basically, basically becomes as relevant as an algorithm if there's a large enough run. 
But here, this, is, this also impacts Luna. UST is an algorithmic stablecoin, which means it has no reserves. Instead, it holds value based on an algorithm that is coded to strike a balance between the stablecoin and a partner coin, in this case, Luna. Every time a UST token is minted, the equivalent of $1 Luna is burned or removed from circulation and vice versa to maintain the peg. There's no inherent value to these tokens or to these cryptocurrencies. So it's very difficult to, to justify any of this. Um, especially when you don't have the equivalent in market cap, the, the equivalent reserves, uh, dollars in reserves corresponding to what you, sh what you have in market cap or what you should have in reserves that don't correspond, unfortunately, to market cap. So what happened? Many critics blame the collapse of Terra's algorithmic stablecoin structure and UST's fast growth seemingly without proper funds to back it, among other things. But some say the DPA could also have been caused by an attack. Much of the accepted narrative of the conspiracy comes from a recent Twitter thread with over 9,000 retweets and 31,000 likes that argues that one cryptocurrency wallet dumped $350 million worth of UST in an attempt to crash the stablecoin below $1 and force the LFG to sell, to sell its Bitcoin reserves in order to keep the peg. This is not that conspiratorial. Like, if it's plausible... How is this less plausible than Trump working with Russia because James Clapper and John Brennan said he did? Notice how mainstream or media or politics accepts certain theories and then uh, downplays other theories as nonsense. So when they accuse Trump or anyone they don't like, uh, if intelligence officials claim to have evidence or intelligence then they're, they're under oath saying, oh, we don't have evidence, we do intelligence. Uh, and then James Clapper, John Brennan, then James Clapper says, oh, uh, you know, uh, we don't have any direct evidence that Trump worked with, uh, with the Kremlin, but uh, we're still going to investigate anyway. Then their conspiratorial theories are legitimized and justified as, you know, suspicion, actually warranted suspicion, that we're, where we should investigate with a Mueller probe and accuse anyone who supports Trump of working with the Kremlin. Um... Here you have, oh, you can't accuse these hedge funds. They would never do anything like that. Yeah, they probably would. And if it wasn't a hedge fund, it was some, uh, it was a number of very huge account holders in Tether or people who had an interest in seeing it, or Terra, and people who had an interest in seeing it go to zero. That doesn't mean Terra was a good idea. These stable coins are a bad idea to begin with. You can have, you can, you can have both things be evident simultaneously. The stable coin, the idea of a stable coin is a stupid idea because you'll never be able to back it or peg it to a dollar. It's not possible. You won't you 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 can't have the eighty billion dollars in cash. Or they don't have eighty billion dollars in cash, these stable coins. You would need the equivalent amount of cash to justify its peg. And Tether routinely gets down below ninety five or below nine uh, dollar to ninety five cents or even 99 cents, which is still below a dollar. But here, the threat speculates the claim attacker had a major Bitcoin short position and wanted to push the price of Bitcoin down. By selling the whale size UST holding, the attacker would cause panic, pushing the LFG to offload in, in, its Bitcoin to UST uh, and tank cryptocurrencies price. As things went south, the, th the threat circulated that the hacker made a profit of over $800 million. Quote, the large withdrawals appear to be timed precisely at the moment when Luna was most vulnerable. It lines up. That being said, many assumptions would have to come together in order for this theory to be correct. Some moves aren't on-chain and therefore can't be proven just yet, but it's certainly suspicious. There was an interest in attacking Bitcoin and Terra, and I think we are beyond that this uh, idea of an attack is just speculation. Maybe I'm wrong. That's just the feeling. Okay, this is from uh, a Twitter thread. T Tether is looking into the trades that prompted this week this week's volatility across the crypto market. Uh, no doubt independent expert analysis have also begun to track the source of this week's event. So there was also speculation that BlackRock, Citadel, and other firms were involved in the DPEG, which Citadel denied to fortune a statement beyond the anchor withdrawals and how the Terra ecosystem structure works. It remains unknown whether the intentional attack truly happened. What happened with Terra wasn't fraud. It was overconfidence in the investors of last resort who had already backed the project and reckless growth at a time when the market was slowing down. After the decline, Bitcoin recovered. Okay, the overall cryptocurrency market uh, 
So, you tell me. What do you think? Either way, you have an $800 million position. As things went south, uh, the thread calculated that, that somebody made a profit of over $800 million. Okay, whether it was a hedge fund or a Bitcoin whale or whatever you like, whoever had, whomever had, or whoever had that amount of money to gain is, the, all of this is susceptible to that type of manipulation. And all, I mean, Tether, once that implodes, and it will, unfortunately, and it could happen from this type of situation, unfortunately, um, the whole crypto world will collapse. Bitcoin will get to below, well below 10,000. Coinbase won't even exist anymore, unfortunately. All of these things will take place. I, I don't even have to know, like you probably watching have a lot more, um, know a lot more about Bitcoin perhaps than I do and crypto than I do. But from a macro perspective, when you have all of this manipulation, when you have all of this corruption, when you have all of this, uh, all uh, these concentrated positions, these these whales or hedge funds or banks or people who have uh, institutions and investors who have millions or hundreds of millions of dollars, when they make a run on it, it's it's game over, and that happens very very quickly, especially in this crypto scene give me your thoughts below hit subscribe right now it's only a matter of time unfortunately before something similar happens with tether uh and which will affect coinbase and bitcoin's price and the entire crypto world give me your thoughts thank you so very much